See that dust, you guys? Just a wall of dust out there. That's land blowing. That's what happens if you start tilling ground. The whole country will blow away. Because it's 80K winds out here. All right, guys, so we're on our way to Saskatoon here, and I just wanted to show you, I uh, just actually turned off the road here, the highway, I'm just going down a little trail. Well, paved trail. See all that dust out there? Look at that. This is what happens if you start plowing. All right, guys. So we're just heading down here a uh, little back trail. I'm gonna show you this, some stuff. We don't plow around here or cultivate really because we get winds. Right now there's wind warnings out. So that means that it's gotta be, I think over 80 kilometers, I do believe to get a wind warning. And uh, this is what happens is uh, now it's a little bit gusty. So his fields start blowing away. If you ever want to know what that looks like, just Google the Dirty 30s, the Dust Bowl, and uh, you're going to see what happens. Now that's a town. It's quite dusty. So that, you guys. Now, I don't know what he did. I think that was corn or something. And he must have cultivated it down. And uh, yeah, not gonna roll down the window here because I don't feel like filling my new truck up with dust. Not yet, anyway. I do believe the winds are over 80 kilometers. Probably gusting 100. I don't know. So anyway. That's why you don't cultivate. You know, this really makes spraying difficult. You guys know that? You know we have to pretty much do all of our spraying at night because of these winds, and sometimes the winds don't even go down at night. So if you don't want to give your neighbor all your topsoil, be careful what you do out here. Be careful what you do. Remember, we only have like between four to six inches of topsoil depending on where you go. You go to some places, maybe they have a foot or so, but uh, in general, we don't have all the topsoil in the world. And you don't want it to leave. Lots of places on some of the land that we farm back home, uh, the hilltops are pure white and they don't hardly grow anything anymore. Why? Because this happened and it just blows all the topsoil off the top of those hills like a snow, snow bank and all your topsoil is gone. How can you fix that? Well, you could take a bunch of manure and spread manure up there and try and incorporate it in. But once your topsoil's gone, your topsoil's gone. There's not a whole lot that you can do about it, to be honest. Don't lose your topsoil. Look at that. It's crazy. So anyway, we're gonna take off here, but as you can see, a lot of topsoil moving around. No farmer ever wants to see that. Probably most farmers have experienced that or seen that before. That's sad. You don't want to wish that on anybody. I uh, got out to uh, just use the washroom there on this gravel road and uh, I instantly, even when I was out of the dust, I tried to find a place that was out of the dust and blocked my, used my truck to block the wind. Instant, instant chewy. All right, let's continue on. Also, I, uh, I should probably note too that um, environmental conditions can also play a huge role in whether your land's gonna Blow. One is moisture, obviously, the given. And uh, now, typically in southwest Saskatchewan, we are prone to be dry. But if you are drier than the normal prone to be dry, and you mix that in with a little tillage, or maybe you mix that in with uh, poor crops, even like even just poor crops, like maybe like for example, we've gone through many many dry years where we only cut like five bushel durham or wheat crops because it literally just burnt up in the boot it just it just died that's how dry it was it just did not rain it was 35 degrees with the wind blowing day after day 
no rain, it just died. Like, you'll just not grow a crop. And if you don't grow a crop that year, first of all, that's a huge financial loss to you. Second of all, now you're going to uh, carry that into another year. Hopefully you get some snow, but if you don't, we don't always have to get snow around here. Most times we don't. And if you have another year, because typically dry spells come in spurts, you'll get like three, four, or whatever years of it. And now you have no, you have no organic matter. So now you're going to seed right into that. Hopefully you have a little bit of moisture for some snow or some spring rains. You know, maybe you get your crop growing. But now you have no organic matter on your land. So you're going to seed into that stuff. And you're just going to hope and you're going to pray that you're going to get some more rain to get that crop out of the ground. And if you do or if you don't, it doesn't really matter. Your land can blow because you have no organic matter out there. You're in a drought. It's dry. And we are very wind prone as well. And it seems like you always get more wind on a bad year. There used to be an old saying. Uh, amongst farmers you're like seed in the dust and your bins will bust well I always say that yeah my bins are gonna bust because it's the wind in, in a drought as they're tumbling across the field <laughs> so uh, yeah so that can play a huge role in whether your land's gonna blow or not and you know what I don't wish that on anybody because uh, that's just that's a sad thing to see and you know what it actually got worse as I continued to drive into Saskatoon I'm in Saskatoon now um, pretty much the whole way it was just, you could see lots of dust in the air, and there's lots of other land blowing, and so on and so forth. So, that's unfortunate. And, uh, yeah. Those are the cards we get dealt. That's farming. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Or, maybe we're just the idiots for doing it. I can't. Anyway, I love what I do. <laughs>